Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of ZnOH2 plus HNO3, which will yield ZnNO32 plus water, which is H2O. I already wrote out our chart and the elements and the polyatomics that I see on both sides, but I want to give you guys a little trick. Whenever you see that you have the hydroxide ion, the polyatomic hydroxide, which is OH, and you see water on the other side, what I want you to do to make the balancing easier, get rid of the H2O and represent this as HOH. It's still H2O. There's two hydrogens and one oxygen, but... By separating this out, you're going to make it easier to balance. The H in the front is going to correspond with the H on the other side, and the OH in the back, which is the hydroxide, is going to be now corresponding with the OH on the other side. So it just makes it a little easier. Now let's write down how many we have of our polyatomics and our elements. Let's start with the left-hand side. I have zinc, Zn. I don't see any uh, coefficients here, so I have one, right? And not coefficients, but subscripts. And what happened here? I don't know. Let's just highlight that again. Okay. So I have one zinc, because there's nothing here, so one. For my hydroxide, my OH, I have two OHs, so I'm going to put a two here. For my hydrogen, I just see a one. I don't see any subscripts down here, so that's a one. And then for my nitrate, the whole polyatomic is NO3. The three is included. I don't see any parentheses, which means that my nitrate, I just have one. Coming to my product side, I still have one zinc because I don't see any subscript down here, so one. But now I see that I have two nitrates. So I'm going to put a two where the nitrate is. And then for my water, a.k.a. HOH, I have one hydrogen, and then I have one hydroxide, OH, right? Okay. Doesn't matter where you start, just pick the one that's easiest for you. Um, let's, let's do the, the nitrates first. Always start with the lower number and go by multiplication to get to the higher number. One times what will get me to two? Oh, one times two. Whatever number that you stated is going to be the coefficient that you place in front of the element that has, in this case, the NO3. So I'm going to put a 2 here. But you have to be fair. Whatever coefficient you put, you have to distribute it between, in this case, the hydrogen and the nitrate. We just balanced the nitrate, so I have two of them. But now how many hydrogens do I have? I now have two hydrogens. I don't count this hydrogen because that's part of the hydroxide. So I'm going to say that I have two hydrogens. Okay, now we move on to the next one. Let's see. Well, let's now balance the hydrogens. The lower number is here. One times what will get me to two? Just like we said, it's one times two. That number is now the coefficient of where the hydrogen was. So I'm going to put a 2 here. But you got to be fair. Whatever you put in front, you have to distribute. So I have two H's and I have two OH's. So I have two H's and I have two OH's. But that's perfect because by balancing the hydrogen, we balance the OH's, the hydroxides. And now everything is balanced. So we are finished. If you wanted to bring this back, you could just say that there's two H2Os. And that's it. So the balance equation for this is one zinc uh, hydroxide, so ZnOH2, plus two HNO3s, and that will yield me one ZnNO32, and then plus two H2Os. Hopefully this video has helped you. Let me know by clicking the like button and let me know in the comments. If you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. That will help us out tremendously. tremendously. And I thank you so much for that. I hope you guys are having a great day. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes or exams. And I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.